there viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Tell by the title of the video I gotta change a small tire in one of these little guys. So these things are a pain in the hoo-hoo. Upgraded my tire machine and downgraded at the same time my old tire machine. I had adapter clamps for it that would go down to these little four and six and eight inch wheels. Now my new tire machine only goes down to 10 inch and my old adapters didn't fit it and I haven't looked into getting adapters for them. The biggest challenge with these wheels is holding them usually. You can be rolling around on the ground like a monkey until you finally give up. I bought one of these little guys off the Amazon. I think they sell them at the Harbor Freight. It's a Pittsburgh mini tire changer. No idea if it works. I've never used it. Apparently you can mount it to a vise and it comes with a little bead breaker attachment for breaking the bead. Now this one the lady brought to me and the beads are already broke. It's already been driven flat so we're not going to check that aspect of it. And it came with a device to put the tire on and off. I mostly bought it just to hold the tire still. So I think we're going to clamp it in the vise and then I bought a couple uh, tire spoons uh, from Ken Tool. So some of these mini tire spoons I think that I'm going to use. Uh, so let's check it out. Now let's be honest, I did not read the directions with it. I think I saved the directions. This lady brought me a new lawnmower tire. She actually wanted me to put a tube in this one, but this thing is so dry rotted, it's not really worth it. And my thought is we can just clamp this in a vise. Now I see this is cast aluminium. So we're not gonna be able to you know, crush it down, but enough to hold it. Has some of this stuff on it. So we'll twirl that off. We have a little cone here. I'm thinking we'll do it well stem up. Now this this wheel still has a bearing in it. This is only it looks like half inch threaded rod. So I guess we can stick that on there. Maybe put that on there. Perhaps a spacer. Is that gonna? I'm gonna say no spacer because I guess I just don't want it hindering anything. So I'll give this the old twirl. Like I said, that's usually half the battle is just holding the dang wheel still. Uh, I am gonna use the tire spoons. Now this tire has a tube in it, but everything is junk, so I'm not really too concerned about hurting the tube. But typically we would start at the valve stem and uh, we'll see if we can't just go around it like so. Then we'll stick her to the side here. And we'll pull the tube up. Get it out of the way. I'll come back under it. Grab it with a spoon and pop her off like that. Like I said, you guys can see, you know, why I chose not to, you know, put another tube in this. The tire's pretty, pretty well cracked, and these tires are wicked cheap, anyways. You know, tubes are probably I don't know, six or seven bucks, and I think a new tire is probably twelve bucks. I think if you were using the bead breaker. I think the idea is you would hook it into that hole, stick it there, and then, you know, use leverage to push down the bead, and then perhaps have to flip the wheel over to do that again. And then, I don't know, maybe you could use these spacers to get it, you know, up, up a little bit higher to, you know, do different things. But like I, said, I just wanted to hold it still. And then it comes with uh, this gizmo for mounting and dismounting. I didn't read the directions on it. I don't know if, you know, probably something like that, but either way, this is where we're at. We'll get a, uh, get us a valve stem, pop a stem in there. Well, that's a tubeless wheel, that's a tubeless tire. And we'll get some lube and we'll see if we can't chase this thing around in a few circles. stem here. I'm using a stuff called Euro paste. Ah, brush gets a little stiff on it. Works pretty good. It's for putting on low profile tires, but I use it on everything. Make 
Make sure our stem is up and through there. Like this. I'm going to take and lube up our bead. Now you can just use, you know, Dawn dish soap or whatever you have. Don't use like regular grease like out of your grease gun because that'll affect the rubber on it. So we'll get her nice and slick. That's what I use. Euro paste. I want more. Now here is the tricky part. We're gonna get her started. Sometimes you can get the lower bead, but I see this wheel has a pretty sharp edge on it. So we're gonna start it like that, and I'll show you an old trick me and Mala taught me. The vice grips. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing the dance with this thing. So essentially, I'm just gonna take vice grips very gingerly, clip them on the edge of the wheel, and that's gonna hold the one side of our bead, and that is gonna keep us from chasing it in circles, technically. So when you do bigger truck or bigger tires, like farm tires, they actually have these little bead holders that just clip on the edge of the wheel. Now we're gonna come in with our tire spoon, see if we can't get a hold of this little guy. Oh, this is the right side, right? That was a six inch, wasn't it? Fine time to check now, sure is. Just reposition here, if we can. Dude, with plan B, I noticed as I started pushing on, this wheel is so thin. I actually started bending the bead a little. I took my vice grips off. We're just gonna try to old manual, hold it down, and then just come around it with a spoon, just see if we can hold it by hand. Sometimes it can be a real piss pot because it just wants to work around on you, you know, or you just end up chasing your tail all the way around. That one wasn't too bad there. Now an outer bead. Try the old vice grip trick again. I we're gonna have to knock the edge of this wheel down. This thing is paper thin. Let's see if I can get it underneath it. The other problem is the edge of this rim on this tire is wicked sharp, so you have to be really careful. A lot of times you put your vice grips there, you can just, you know, you give it a spin and you get it to go under. Um, I see the problem is it wants to come off the bottom bead also, but we'll just get it kind of pinch the whole tire, get it started over like that. And then we'll see if we can't just use our tire spoon and just go around it. Just use your vice grip to hold that for you. Like I said, we are gonna have to knock this edge of this rim back straight a little bit. Crazy thing. Dollar Tree rim. General rule, you don't have to worry about that too much with regular like lawnmower type tires. I think this just goes on like a little yard cart. See if it takes air. Oh. So never a problem going on a bead, I know that. Yeah, see, it wants to go offset. I don't I don't like that. It's like a six inch rim, but it's really five and a half. If you can't even it up a little bit here. Beautiful. Our 
right, folks, that's it. Using the old Pittsburgh mini tire changer, four to 12 inch, it says. Works out pretty well. Use the vice grip trick. Uh, just be careful on these, you know, really cheap, thin lipped wheels. Uh, they do bend pretty easy. I see the inner bead has a rolled edge on it, which makes it a little stronger, but it seems to work pretty well. You could probably use the other gizmos that come with it. I believe these tire spoons that I bought. Uh, also, I don't believe these were very expensive. I'll put links to the Pittsburgh hand jobby there, the two tire spoons that I bought, and of course, a pair of ice grips. Just mirror mirrors. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.